So Santi stance three, body uh, stance is from Xing Yi, right? So you stand like this. Okay, weight is slightly on the back, and then hands. Yeah, palm facing forward, and this palm facing down, and this index finger pointing slightly to the elbow here. So index fingers are slightly lifted. Okay, like this, right? Like this. And again, toes grab, create a grip. Okay, and you need to lower your centers slightly. Okay, like this. And just slowly breathe in and breathe out right and your knee should not pass your toes oh. okay your knee is like right here align with your toes sometimes you can go forward a little bit as long as you don't put too much pressure on the knee okay so the thing is not to put a lot of pressure on the knee right and then you feel like you're sitting on a chair so you're not like this you're more like sitting on a chair and just breathe. <clears throat> okay, change. Okay. So the stance. First, this is very important. Okay, to establish a connection, right? When you're doing it like this, okay, you're, you're not uh, connecting the body, okay? All the lines of the body have to connect. So here, connect with here, and connect with the lower body. Right, when you're like this, this arm is doing one thing and the other arm is doing something else. Okay, different, uh, different people, they do it differently. You know, even though it's the same stance, senti stance. Some people do it more open, some people more closed. Okay, we do it more closed. Okay, this arm close to the body. Yes, and push a little bit, push, push here a little bit, and here down a little bit. Okay, just turn around, face this way. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, lower. Yeah, and body more sideways. Right, body is not squared off. Body is more sideways. Mm. Okay, body has to turn. Okay, like this, body is not turning. Right, body has to turn. Yeah, and when you, when I press on it, there has to be structure. Okay, there cannot be no structure, but not like rigid structure. And here, yeah, here. So then from here, this has to be rounded, right? This area, it's like you're holding a ball, has to be rounded, okay? It's not flat, rounded. Okay, you push here, okay? But you're not really pushing. Okay, when you're pushing, you're ex expending your intention and you're opening up your structure, right, like this. Okay, that's projecting your intent and projecting your force outward. Okay, for internal martial arts, force have to go inside 